Hello, I'm Marshall Bingham. I'm from Canada. I'm 36 years old. I work in the film industry. Well, with the new hairline that I don't. I look younger now already. You are losing that thing, yeah, that, the sharp, that sharpness. Yeah. So probably, I mean, I can see still how it was. Mm -hmm. uh, if we just maintain, if we do the straight one, probably it will make you happy. And of course, then it's flying all over from front till back, yeah, exactly. till crown area. Yeah, exactly. Especially some parts are more like spot. Yeah, it seems like spotted, a bullet spot. Yeah. Yeah. Just hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a second. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. But just like, because it was out more though, you know? Like really? It out, yeah, it was out there just a little more than the same. These areas too. Yeah. Then this two big spot. Mm hmm than the other areas. Are you not going to touch in here though? Yeah, we do. Okay. But everything depends on the graph number. Yeah. Okay, so... Because uh, I don't want it to, you know, yeah. The, the thing is with the Afro hairstyle, we sometimes have to get the, the number that we want. Mm -hmm. Number, mm -hmm. which areas we can do, but the priorities are the spots, of course. The remaining graphs will be used for densifying the other areas. Okay. I noticed it about four years ago. I was in denial at first, like everybody. I didn't really affect my social life, but just personally, I just uh, wasn't quite ready to let go of that yet. In my industry, we use waves a lot. I feel like that was part of the reason why I was losing my hair. In parts and patches, my dad is bald, but my grandfather on my mom's side is, has the full head of hair. I don't even know if that matters. Uh, the worst thing about hair loss for me felt like I had no control of it. It just, uh, and I was in denial. It, was, uh, it, just, it just started happening slowly. So I'm glad I found you guys. My zodiac sign. Is that personal? Or are you just asking me for? <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius. Nothing funny about this. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I felt like I, I felt like I wanted to. So I've always wanted to grow dreadlocks, and uh, I realized that wasn't gonna happen anymore. And uh, so I'm here in Turkey. I think a friend of mine in film actually recommended it. I took notice. I saw Dr. Mehmet specifically work with a lot of Afro hair. And I watched him for about a year. And I actually followed up with some of his patients personally to see how their transition was. And uh, they re highly recommended it. I mean, the anesthetics were not that pleasurable. <laughs> Um, but I feel like the rest of it was pretty seamless and uh, the aftercare has been perfect and uh, I'm, I'm quite confident that it's going to turn out well, so thankful. Oh, the staff is fantastic. Uh, all the way from airport pickup to the drivers small staff including yourself have been pleasurable pleasant and uh, attentive and super helpful i'd recommend smile to everybody <laughs>